Excellency, Mr. Li Xiaopeng, Deputy Governor, Mr. Zi Li, General Manager, Shangxi Jinfai Economic Trade and Cooperation Zone Company Limited, distinguished members of the Chinese delegation, your Lordship, the Chief Justice, Deputy Prime Minister, Vice Prime Minister, and colleague ministers, Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, members of the National Assembly, and distinguished guests and workers who are here. It is indeed a great pleasure to be here this morning for the laying of the foundation stone of the Mauritius Jinfei Economic and Trade Cooperation Zone. I wish to extend a very warm welcome to His Excellency Mr. Li Xiangpeng, Deputy Governor of the Shanxi Province, and also to the important delegation he is leading. As you are all aware, my government has just signed two important agreements with the promoters of this project. Today, we are laying the foundation of the largest development project in Mauritius. This event today is a historic milestone in our special relationship. It is as a result of the relationship established since independence in 1968, when the father of the nation, Sasib Sagar Ramgulam, declared unambiguously that we only recognize the People's Republic of China and we will adopt a one China policy. I should say this was at the time when China was no superpower and there was a lot of pressure on Mauritius for us not to do this. We have since constantly nurtured that special relationship. This event is also as a result of the resolute economic diplomacy that we have pursued since my first mandate as Prime Minister. You know, many perhaps do not realize this. Mauritius was not an obvious choice. Many who know nothing about negotiating or how to make your case do not realize that we were not the only beautiful girl in town. We had to compete with much bigger countries, countries which have natural resources which we do not have, unlike us. There were many doubters when I left for the China-Africa Forum in 2006. This project was not meant to be for Mauritius. I can tell you this. When I left this country for China, I talked with Excellency, the very able ambassador from the People's Republic of China. But the choice had already been made. There were four other countries that had been chosen. There were many doubters that this would not be possible. But perseverance, efforts have made it possible. And today, I can tell you, we are the envy of others. This project is the most important single foreign direct investment ever in this country. Never before had we had such a massive foreign direct investment. Never before. It will be an iconic integrated development along the Port Louis Grand Bay Corridor. The total foreign direct investment and completion of this project will be around 25 billion rupees. 25 billion rupees. It will create more than 34,000 direct jobs and a substantial number of indirect jobs and generate up to 7 billion rupees in export earning every year. 
To put that in perspective, that figure represents more than a third of our export earnings in 2008. I hope you realize what kind of investment that is. The setting up of the GINFI Economic and Trade Cooperation Zone will accelerate the diversification and the modernization of the economy, improving the global competitiveness of both the manufacturing and services sector. It will create a new dynamism and open up opportunities for domestic firms. It will generate cross-cutting linkages with the overall terms of economic activity and job creation. More importantly, it will foster development of this region and integrate the capital and the villages of the north into a contiguous zone of economic activity. This region, as you know for obvious reasons, is very close to my heart. Mauritians will be exposed to the diligence, the hard work, perseverance, and innovation of Chinese enterprise, of which we have had a foretaste for our compatriots of Chinese origin. The first Chinese immigrants, Excellency, came to Mauritius in the late 18th century. Ever since, this hard-working community has prospered and contributed to the economic development and growth of our island. Its members today play an important role in Mauritian society. China's values and its culture color our society at large. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, there is a Chinese word for crisis. It's Ouija. This word is a combination, in fact, of two words, danger and opportunity. As I always say, every crisis is an opportunity. We should perhaps try to learn from the Chinese how they have mastered the art of listening to the whispers of opportunity. This ceremony could not have come at a more opportune time. The world is living through the most severe economic recession it has known. Although now we see some signs of recovery. The Gene 5 project will come on stream just in time to take advantage of the upturn in the global economy. It is operations such as this one that are moving the center of gravity eastward. This joint collaboration capitalizes on the strategic position of Mauritius between dynamic Asia and emerging Africa. This partnership with the promoters of this project, namely the Taiyuan Iron and Steel Company Group Limited, the Shansi Group and the Chandli Group goes a long way to further cement the historic link between Mauritius and China. It will reinforce the age-old friendship between our two countries.